is if you don't have someone in your company who's willing to walk you through things and mentor things, a big part of it for me is being in an environment where I have other trained, hopefully certified regulatory professionals that when I have ideas that I'm not quite sure about, I can bounce them off them and say, this is my way of thinking. What's your way of thinking on this? Do, is it consistent with the regulations? Is it con consistent with what the industry is doing, doing right now? And that's one thing that RAPS provides is, is you have availability of, of people to do that and you can network and, and advance your career that way. I can perhaps think of only one other organization that's actually non-regulatory, it's more clinical, that would give me the same kinds of experience. RAPS is a very member-oriented organization. It's, it provides us with uh, a scope that is narrow enough to be valuable for us, but broad enough to co cover most of the areas that we need knowledge uh, in and they're also open to member input that they need to expand their horizons and look at other areas in the regulatory profession and RAPS is always willing to look at that and expand the, the scope, for example, that they present at conferences like this one. I use my RAPS membership in order to meet new people and network and share experiences and ideas. Uh, in terms of what's going on in the regulatory affairs community, what's going on in the quality world, keeping up with the new quality system uh, regulations and the global efforts in terms of harmonizing the quality standards and things of that nature. Uh, RAPS is really important in helping to achieve your career goals because it allows you to advance your knowledge in the regulatory affairs pr profession, get uh, advanced training on different topics, um, learn about a wide variety of topics um, from foods to drugs to devices and just expand your horizons and, and really make you a much more valuable asset to your company or to any other potential company. It's interesting, I actually, one of the first career uh, moves I made was to become a reps member when I first started 15 years ago and I took a break for a while but um, giving back, basically mentoring, um, sharing what I learned and try to you know recruit the next generation of people so they can get the same opportunity.